Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. Bent. Today we are going to be going through another Photopea tutorial. Today, as you can see on the screen, we are going to be going through a dispersion effect. With that, we are going to be kind of almost making something look as though it's been Thanos snapped. Creating it to kind of turn into dust or blow away into dust is the style of effect we're going to be going into. Now you can use this same exact procedure with some different brushes to create different effects, like turning someone into smoke. But for today, we are going to be using this image of Thor and we're going to be turning him into a Thanos snapped image, as you can kind of see on the screen. Now to start this image and the link to these brushes will be down below. But with further ado, we are going to get started and we're going to get rolling away. Alrighty, so these brushes, when you go to this web link, you're just going to click on this free download button. It will download this as a zip folder. And then once you have those and you have that downloaded, you're just going to take that zip folder and you're going to drop it in and it will tell you that your brushes are added. Once your brushes are added, perfect. You'll have no other issues. You won't need to download those again. Those will be in there for as long as you're using Photopea for today. Now our image is already in here to drop this in. You would just drag and drop this in as well. Now, as I begin, I'm going to create a duplicate of this layer and I'm going to shut one off. I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to drop this file into the folder. Now, this is just so that way I don't have to look at it. I know that I keep all my duplicates in here. So that way, if I need to go back and I need to make some adjustments, I have at least something to go back onto for the future. Now, we're going to create another duplicate of this layer so that way we can start our edits and start our stuff. And we're going to begin by grabbing the magic wand tool. Now, you could go around and trace out Thor using some different tools, using the pen tool or using the magnetic lasso that might work as well. For me, I'm going to use the magic wand because my background allows me to do that. If my background was complicated and it had a lot of different colors, this might not work that well. But for me, I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to click on some spaces and hold shift. And that, as you can see, this line is kind of popping up this weird shape. And that is allowing me to kind of grab all of this space. Now, I'm not worrying about getting out to the far edges. I'm just worried about grabbing all of the inside space that I need to grab. And then once I'm done grabbing all of these areas, I'm going to press backspace. Now, we'll get there in just a second. I'm going to make sure that I got everything I need to as close as I can to objects. Bam, that could be better. There we go. Awesome, and backspace. Now we can't see our effects yet because I had that other layer on. So now I'm just gonna turn that off. Now with that layer turned off, we wanna erase all of this stuff. To do that, firstly, we need to deselect. So Control D, you'll see that those lines went away. And then we are gonna grab our eraser tool. I've made my brush pretty large, but I'm just gonna go around and erase all of this excess. We wanna just have a image of whatever it is that we want to stretch. And that's all we're gonna have on our screen for right now. Excellent. Now with this, as we've done before, again, we are going to create a duplicate layer. We're going to turn it off and we are going to drop it into our folder. With that, we are now going to grab the magic wand tool again, and we want to grab all of the transparent space around Thor. So we want to click there, hold shift and press in between his arm and then in between his legs. And now we're going to switch our layers. When we switch our layers, this means that we are now basically having this trace and this outline on a different layer. So this layer that we have selected is what we're doing. And we're going to press Control C and Control V. And this is now created a layer that is just um, the background and the actual background of this image. We're going to use our spot healing brush. I've made the size a little bit larger already. And we're going to kind of content aware and pre-fill this space. It'll help us and make things look a little bit better when we go to actually create the dispersion and actually turn Thor into pixels. Now, this is something that can take a little bit. It might be a little demanding on your computer. It might take a moment once you're done doing this. I'm going to do the entire space of Thor with this large brush. And when I let go, it's going to start doing its thing. But this could take a moment. I'm just going to jump to when this is done. Alrighty, so this is completed. It's done its stuff. I had to do it a second time because it grabbed some other stuff, which is totally cool. Sometimes it takes a little bit. It takes a couple tries in order to get it perfect. But as you can tell, it looks like Thor was never even there, which is super cool that this can do that. Now we're going to go back to our layer of Thor and we're going to create a duplicate of this layer again. And we are now going to name this bottom layer of Thor. We're going to call this one liquify because we're about to liquefy our Thor. I'm going to change this one to just be called Thor. And I'm just going to call this one 
we're gonna call this one background so now with these again our liquify layer is going to be selected we are going to go to our filter and we are going to go to liquify this is going to open up this panel with thor on it and you can adjust these you can mess with these in terms of whatever it is you want but really all we want to do is we want to stretch out thor this is going to create it as though all of those pixels later on are where they are in terms of those colors so if you have a color spot that's a little bit weird like this uh, little transparency area we want to try and eliminate that so we're going to stretch that all the way out as we're kind of going through this eventually we'll get all of that gone now our dispersion might not go this far but it's a good idea to kind of stretch this out as far as it can just to kind of save you some headache in the future uh, when you're going through this again make sure that all that transparency is gone bam 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 and having some different shades if they show up is super cool it'll make it look a little bit nicer when we are in the future now again this doesn't look good yet but we will get there so now with i'm going to select my thor layer i'm going to turn off my liquify and i'm going to create a raster mask to create a raster mask we're going to press on this camera button in the bottom right of our layers menu and that will create this white box once we've done that i'm now going to select my brush uh, within your brushes you should have a whole bunch of your um, explosion brushes those things that we just downloaded and you're going to kind of choose one that you wish now before we get too far though we have a white background we need to make sure that our paintbrush color is black so in order to do that we're just going to go down here and i'm just going to press this little flip button and that's now going to give me my black color if it doesn't you can just double click on this it'll open up a menu and you can choose that color now for me, this, the size of this is too large for right now, because right now I'm just trying to make it as though Thor has kind of started to be ripped away and I want to take the pieces off of him. So to do that, I'm just going to go over this with the black brush. Now you might want to change the size, you might want to make it larger. That way you can get some kind of random or more sporadic pieces awesome and then I am now going to switch to my other liquify layer now when I switch to my liquify layer I'm gonna turn that on it looks a little weird as of right now and that's totally okay we're gonna press and hold alt and we're gonna select our raster mask button this should create a black raster mask and with that since we're painting over top of black we need to change our color back to white now this is something that might be a little finicky It'll take a little bit to get it the way that you want it with messing with sizes and messing with the angles of your brush to kind of create the best dispersion effect in your mind. So I'm just going to increase my size a little bit and we're going to try that. Now, it might be kind of hard to tell. Let's turn this back on. And I want a little bit more, so I might change my brush to be a little bit smaller. And I might throw that down there. I didn't like that one, so let's try another one of those. So this can stop right here. You could go further. You could mess around using a bunch of different brushes, a bunch of different things. Uh, again, we've got a whole lot of brushes that you could mess around with. If you just want to throw some more sporadic things in there. Your totally personal preference at this point. To me right now, I can see too much of Thor's face, which I don't personally love, but I could mess around on this for a while to end up getting something that I'm super happy with. But again, that's something that's just going to take a whole bunch of time. I'm not going to just mess around forever because I think it's better if you mess around and you make what you want rather than just seeing what I'm going to mess around with. This is how you create your dispersion effect. If you wanted to use the smoke and turn Thor into smoke instead, you would just download those smoke brushes and instead of doing the uh, pixels that we have just done, the dust fragments and those large explosion fragments, you just use smoke. So it's very similar. The process is pretty much the exact same. You're just using a different style of brush. All in all, it will be 98% the same procedure. Now with that, that's all for today. I hope you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed. As always, take care and be safe.